occupation? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. My name is Farhana and I'm working in a bank over here in Chennai. And uh, normally I believe like whatever happens, that happens only with the permission and knowledge of Allah. I'll tell all this uh, to my friends. So whatever happens, Allah definitely knows about this. And when uh, Sheikh said regarding September 11th, what have happened in U.S., at that uh, time when I was discussing uh, with my friends, they said like, if your Allah knows everything before, why a lot of innocents lost their life on that event? And I was not able to answer that. How can I uh, explain them in all this? Thank you very much for your question. The sister asked that if Allah knows everything, why would he allow tragedies like 911 to happen and so many people to lose their life? Is that correct, sister? Exactly. Thank you. Bismillah. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. The question is a good question, one we hear all the time, actually. But if you only zero in on this one event, you make it sound like that's the only bad thing that ever happened. Especially people in the West, they keep talking about, oh, look, almost 2,900 people died on this one day. By the way, did you know 500 of them were Muslims? 500 of the people who died in that tower were Muslims. Yes. Uh-huh. But what about when we have right here in Chennai two years ago, and I was here. I was here in Chennai right after Christmas. And what happened? Anybody remember? I learned a brand new word. It starts with a T, but it, you don't pronounce the T. Tsunami. Tsunami. Is that it? The big wave that came in, and how many people died then, and how many were stranded, and it wasn't just here in India. Man, it was all over those islands, all the way down to, how far away? It was an earthquake or something, and then all these people suddenly are just engulfed in these big waves, and they died. Why didn't they ask me about that? Why don't you ask about when we have these huge monsoons and so many people die in their villages, and you don't ask about that. It's the same God, isn't it? Huh? I think somebody asking that question is not really dealing with the real world. There's plenty of people dying every day. You didn't ask about that. Everybody's going to die. To say that you think there's no God simply because something like that happened really is not to understand what's happening around you every day. In fact, Allah knew before he created the universe how everything was going to happen, including the end of it. Clearly, Allah tells us that all of us will die. Listen to what he says. Every person shall taste death. But the important part is when he said this in the same Quran. O oh, you who believe, have taqwa for Allah as it's his right on you. And don't die except in submission, surrender, obedience, sincerity, and peace to him. Yes? So you're going to die. We already outlined what happened to Sumaya, radiallahu anha, her husband, Yasser, radiallahu anha. There are many of the companions of Muhammad وسلم, that were slaughtered. They were murdered. Others trying to defend the Muslims and Islam were also killed. His uncle Hamza was impaled to the ground with a spear that came in from this side, came out the back between his hips and nailed him to the ground and he couldn't move. None of them sat around and cried about it though, did they? Because they knew that this is not the ultimate life. This is clearly a proof that there has to be some other life. Otherwise, it wouldn't be fair, would it? It wouldn't be fair that the people who could get away with some of the atrocities that they pull off every single day, they get away with it. Well, innocent men, women, and children are murdered. There has to be a day of judgment. And there has to be a reckoning. And this is not our paradise. For those who want the paradise here, it sounds like that's who you're talking to. 
people who are saying, well, how come we have a, oh, 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 I, want, uh, I want everything now. I don't want any problem. Huh? Well, Allah will give it to them. The Prophet wasalam, said, a dunya sijnul mu'min wal jannatul kafir. That this life that we all live in every day, in fact, is a prison to a true believer. But it's the only paradise for a disbeliever. Think about that one. If you'd really like to know how to answer those people, I have a website for you to check this one out. Go to the website called 911 Bible. 911 Bible. Dot com. Go check that out and see what it says there. There's a whole lot more, but because this is just question and answer, I'm going to drop it here and, and hope for a chance to get some more questions in. Jazakum Allah khair. My name is Abdul Jabbar. I'm a software